Do you want more? More time, more balance, more love, more sex, more money, more real, and less bullshit. This is the Women Wanting More podcast with Dr. Karen Osborne. Real life, real stories, plus real tips to get you more of what you want. So sister, it's going to suck at first, and it might suck for, it might suck for a while. Well, let's talk about this. So there's this funny um, fantasy, illusion, misunderstanding that a lot of people have when they see someone do something the way that they want to be doing something or they see someone doing something well, okay? Let me give you an example. I have a um, woman that I coach that maybe are wanting to put a message out there with a business Or it can just be like clients I have that just like, you know, I just feel like I need to share this, but like, ah, I don't know how you do like a Facebook live or video. Like, how do you do it? You're so good at them. Or, ah, how do you write stuff? And it's like, oh my God, sister, go Google, go YouTube me from like five, six years ago and watch some of my initial, there was no Facebook live back then, but watch my, my initial YouTube videos. This is, I think even before there was like video on Facebook. Yeah, there wasn't back then. No, I think there was. It was just YouTube, and then you could drop the YouTube link, Facebook. Um, and you will see how much I sucked at first. Like, <laughs> it was not good. Go read some of my initial posts, like, back on Facebook, and it's like, ugh, like, awkward. In other words, you're not seeing the time that I was sucking. And then how it sucked for a while as I was trying to figure things out. And I was getting better each time when I would actually execute and do something. Like you, you don't see those pieces. You're seeing just the end result. Or you hear me here on this podcast and you're like, oh man, like I don't know how you do like a podcast. You can just come up with stuff. Like how do you do this content where you have ideas? It's like, holy shit, man. Like I've been doing this for a long fucking ass time. This did not come overnight. It came with me embracing not doing something well for a long period of time. Let me give you another example. So I am right now working with a swim coach once a week. Um, that has been since November-ish, but with like holiday time and time being away and kids spring break and Christmas break and all this kind of stuff. I think I've probably, and I've had, I have a new, new swim coach, new swim teacher now. So the one moved on. Um, I want to say I've had like 12 lessons. Let's just say 12, 12. And there's been maybe a handful, maybe I've gone to the pool three times outside of that, like by myself, just during open swim times to like practice things, right? Practice drills. And so really not a lot of time I've been in the, school, in the pool. However, my purpose in setting up swim lessons is that outside of when I was maybe like, I don't know, six or seven, like had an initial swim lesson, you know, the one at least where I did, at least was for me in the seventies, I would like, they used to, they used to teach how to tread water. They teach you how to do dead man's float. Like it was a lot of more like safety, like how to keep yourself buoyant. If you're in the water, you didn't know how to swim. But as far as actually knowing how to swim, I've never taken proper swim lessons. Like I've just fucking hacked it. I mean, I, I kind of learned this like quasi breaststroke kind of thing. I think as a, my mom did that. I don't really remember, but all I know is that I do not know how to swim well. And so as I'm watching my kids start to go through swim lessons, I'm like, you know what? I need to go. Like, this is an important skill to have. It's just a human being. to know how to swim. Plus, I just, I want to be able to, when we go away, we love to go away to Maui. We go to Maui. I want to, I want to be, learn how to stand up paddleboard. We live across the street from the beach now. Like, there's a lot of things I want to do in the water. I'm so drawn to the water. It's like, why haven't I learned how to swim? Like, okay, now's the time. Once a week, I'm going to hire a swim coach and I'm going to start swimming. And so from the very beginning to now, like massive improvement, massive improvement. However, there's still a lot of things with front crawl, which is the one stroke that I really want to master and get proficient at, which are still like, it's just not there. Right. So, so today, today I'm working with my swim coach and I finally kind of understand because I'm like, how come I kick and I don't go anywhere? I'm like, just give me those fucking flippers again. Like, let me get some jets. Let me get some momentum with flippers on to really get going. Right. But then, I mean, of course, I'm not going to have flippers on when I'm, like, in the ocean. I'm not going to have flippers on, like, you know, when I'm sitting at paddleboarding. I'm not going to have flippers on when I'm learning how to, like, you know, it's like having training wheels on a bike, right? Like, you can maybe get some momentum and stuff. And then I finally realized what I'm doing. There was something that my teacher said today as a cue. She's talking about when you're kicking, like, you're 
pulling and you're pushing like so if you can kind of imagine your legs like kicking in the water and it's coming from my hips for the longest time I was like kicking like like I was bending my knees and they're like okay no no you got to keep it right here and then I realized when she said something else today it was like you got to think I'm like do I keep my hips still I don't know what dawned on me that I have this belief that says I have to keep my, my hips still, but I can't kind of like, like almost like wiggling your hips a little bit, like back and forth, back and forth as you're kicking in the water face down. Um, and suddenly I realized I'm like, Oh my God, I think I'm stiff. That's why she goes, no, you can wiggle a little bit. Well, with those two cues, and then she added one more, which she was like, just think of when you're, when you're kicking like down, your foot's kind of like not pointed, but, um, what am I saying? Like flexed flexed but then but there's another point where it's like it's like it's lazy like it's floppy like and so those things together I was like holy shit I'm moving in the pool like how the fucking lula hallelujah how the fucking lula amen like holy shit this is all coming together right it took a long ass time of me it's like okay we're just gonna like warm up a little bit the pool Flutterboard and just like kind of kick to the end of the back and it's you know regular size Olympic size you know pool right 100 meters and I like go and I come back I think it's 100 meters go and I'm like I kick and I kick and it feels like I'm moving nowhere so I'm like okay I'm just gonna keep kicking keep kicking and then I'd stop and I'd look back and I'm like oh okay well I did go some but uh I don't know 10 feet okay here we go again kicking 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 like it took a lot of suck. Now I could get back in the pool next week because I, I, I train with this coach once a week and I could like forget shit again and then kind of go back again. In other words, in order for me to get really good at doing this, I have to fucking be okay with sucking. I have to be okay with it not being good for a while. That it's often going to have to suck and it could be for a while that it sucks before it gets good. Now, Let's talk about how most are not unwilling, not willing to do this. Because you're just not, sister. You want the results. You don't want the pain in, in between. You want the outcome of how something looks, but you're unwilling to fucking put the hard work, hard work in and to, to make yourself look stupid maybe at the beginning of the process and like you don't know what you're doing. You want, you want the, like, give me the end game, Karen, but you're unwilling to like, run the plays in between if I can use some sports analogies here see if you want to get to where you want to be you have to know that it is going to suck at first and it could suck for a while it could suck for a while you know some of you have told me like oh like I started doing dating this with my husband like this is awesome and it's getting better and and then and then you'll like hit I don't know week six or week eight and you're like oh fuck we're fighting yeah, but like I thought we got to this certain place and you know, it should just be this way. And it's like, nope, you're just going to that next level. Now. And when you go to that next level now, it's going to suck again. It's going to suck again. Like that's simply the way, to, the way that it is. You have to be willing to suck. And it, you could suck for a while before things get any good. But the question you need to ask yourself is this, is am I willing to commit? Am I, am I okay with being uncomfortable? You don't have to like it. But understand that it's part of the process. Am I okay with this? Do I accept the fact that it's going to suck for a while before it gets better? I mean, think of it. I don't care if you're like gifted or, you know, mentally or physically in your body or emotionally you can adapt to stuff well. There's still going to be moments where it's going to suck for a while before it gets any good. Are you willing to do what is required? Are you more committed to the outcome? Or are you more committed to your struggle and how you don't like feeling uncomfortable? Do you actually understand that anything big does not come out of you being comfortable? In fact, all of you actually consider that fucking nothing of any significance comes out of being uncomfortable. Think of anybody in your life that you know personally or great people in this world that have done big things. It has not come from comfort. It has come from being willing to put yourself in uncomfortable situations. To know that the only way to get better is to place yourself in that. That the only way to improve is to do something that you are not good at. That you're just, you know, you kind of suck at. 
Now listen, there's a difference between doing this and like trying to be good at everything, right? There are certain things that I know that I'll never be good at. Sewing is one. I've attempted it a couple different times. So is knitting. I also attempted that. Until I realized I'm like, I'm not sewing knitting girl. Like I'm just not. And the bigger thing is I don't really give a fuck, right? But I do care about swimming. I do care about boxing. And I, and I care about who I am as a mom and I care about who I am as a wife and I care about becoming better as a woman. Being better for you is, as a coach, leading, inspiring, communicating, reaching you, connecting with you. These things I care about. Sewing and knitting, I was just like, ah, did a couple times. I'm like, I totally suck at this. Like, you cannot be good at everything. So also understand that there's, there's, a, there's a double-edged sword if you was a little bit of a distinction, which is if you really suck at something, there becomes a point where if you're like, it just keeps sucking all the time and you don't get any better. And maybe you're just doing it because you think that you should. Like, I remember with the whole knitting thing, I was like, oh, well, I remember my grandmother trying to teach me to knit when I was like eight or nine. That should have been a fucking, you know, a tell back then. But, and then, you know, then it was before we had kids and stuff. And I'm like, oh, I feel like I want to do something to relax and, you know, and so I took this like knitting class at this little teeny little yarn store with my good friend Jen when we lived in the same city and, and she's a photographer and so very artistic and creative and kind of that way, that way artistic. I'm artistic in a different sense. I believe that we're all artists. We just have different ways to express it. And they're literally her and the, the woman teaching is looking at me just kind of like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Like, no, 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 I'm going to get this. I'm going to get this. And then I was just like, man, this is just like not good. Okay. So, I mean, that type of thing, like art, like not my thing. I'm not good at it. Handwriting, also awful, awful. Like, you know, however, if there's something that you really want to, like it matters to you, right? Like the swimming matters to me. Getting better in boxing matters to me. Can all these other things, mother, wife, human being, coach, leader matters to me. So here's your more tip for today. What is something that you're really wanting, but you've just been unwilling to suck for a while? Like you're unwilling. You're just afraid of being judged. You're afraid of what people will say of you, what they're going to think of you, how you look. And so here's the second piece. So number one is identify this and make sure to journal this all down. The second piece of this is what is the one thing that you can do in the next 24 hours to start to move you back into the, I'm just going to have to be willing to have this suck for a while. What is one tangible action that you can take in the next 24 hours? Why 24 hours? Because if you go, well, next week we'll have time or when the kids are back in school or, you know, when the family is not here anymore, like any of that shit, like that just doesn't work. It does not fly. You will never fucking do it that way. But if you put a little fire under your ass and say, dude, I got to get this done in the next like 24 hours, then that's a totally different thing. You will make shit happen when there is momentum and there's movement swiftly to get you to where you want to be. So, three things I want to finish with you today, then, sister. I talked about this in a recent podcast episode, but I love things in threes. So, we're going to talk about it in threes. So, here's number one join the One Want to More newsletter. Like, subscribe to it. There's so many of you that have not yet, you're missing out. So, when you do subscribe and you get VIP access to everything Women Want to More, I'm going to send you the More for Action Guide immediately, which is how to start your day in a place of power. It's a PDF worksheet and a video guide training. I'm also going to send you two exclusive video trainings I did in, inside a private Facebook group. And it'll help to, help to teach you to remember who you are. It's about dropping the stories and creating new ones. So head over to drkarenosbrun.com slash action guide. And you can get signed up for the newsletter today. So that's number one. Number two, head over to the One Want to More store. You get to wear who you are. Like, I fucking created this for you, sister. This is exciting. This is words. This is, this is the culture. This is phrases. This is, stands for who we are here as women who want more within this tribe. And the words that are reflect on the outside in t-shirts, tanks, beanies, mugs, and hoodies that line up with what you really believe on the inside. So head over to shop.womanwantingmore.com. Make sure to enter in the discount code PODCAST10. That'll allow you a chance to get 10% off your entire first purchase and shipping for free. And number three, to make sure to join the sisterhood. So this is like to be one of the women who are like you. Do you realize there's women that listen to this anywhere from 2,500 to 5,000 women every single day in, in was it something like 180 something, like ridiculous countries around the world? But you don't have to do this alone. 
when you do this around a group of women that are like you, you will get there faster. So we do this inside the sister and there are weekly and daily trainings and content and videos and a community of women that are like you that want more power within their life. So head over to drkarenosborn.com slash sisterhood. You get to try out the sisterhood for free for the first seven days. Pardon me, not for free, for a dollar, for a dollar. Okay, one dollar. You are worth a dollar to invest in you and you can try that out for, the, for those seven days for just a buck. So I will talk to the next episode, sister, a life of more. Just one step away from eating the fucking work every single day. I love and appreciate you. To get the show notes of each Women Wanting More episode, including the how to get more tip, subscribe to the newsletter at drkarenosburn.com slash newsletter.